you ready? Roll. And action. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to handcuff the subject. First thing you want to do is you're coming up. As you can see from his back, I can't see his hands. So I want to I'm going to instruct the subject to put his hands on top of his head. What this does is this also puts him in a disadvantage. It also allows me to see his hands and make sure he has nothing inside of this area. So the first instruction would be, sir, put your hands on top of your head, please. Again? Interlock your fingers. So his hands are there. I'm going to step in. Still in the bladed stance. My left knee is going to go into the back of his, which also puts him at a disadvantage. My hands come up. I control here. I bring him back a little bit. So now this puts the subject in an off-balance position. If he was to do anything, like we talked about earlier, I can rip him down this way. I can pull him back this way, or whatever I need to do. But for this one, we're going to do a handcuffing. So while I'm still controlling the hands, I'm going to reach back with my free hand. I'm going to grab my handcuffs and pull them out. Now when you pull your handcuffs out, you want to do what's called priming your cuffs. And your cuffs are going to be primed in a situation where they are pushed in past the keyhole to a lock position, but not all the way solid. You don't want them that far out because it's too much travel space. So you want them just in where they're primed up. You want to grab your handcuffs like this together. So you're going to put your handcuffs like this. You want your keyholes up. That makes it easier for you when you need to uncuff your suspect. You point to the keyholes. These are the keyholes. And when you grab your cuffs, you grab it almost like you're holding a firearm. So this gives you a lot of control of your cuffs. They're not flopping around. They're not moving around. They're not swinging. They're not getting caught on your clothes, his clothes. And as you put them on, you place one on. You don't slap the cuffs on like you see on television. You put it on, and it's a deliberate press. So once you come up to the subject, deliberate press on the wrist, and you press, it automatically comes around on its own. Then from there, you can take that, and you can roll the cuff around, which brings his arm down around to you. So the cuff is actually your control. So now you've got one cuff on him. You're still holding the other hand. Then you can take your hand, bring it around, and now what you, the way I'm placing my hand is, the web of my thumb goes on the outside of his hand, my fingers come in here, and then I press. This also is a control hold, so if he goes to start squirming, I can put him in a wrist lock, which neutralizes his movement instantly, because this is very painful if I continue to press. But what this also does is it brings his hand down around, and now you have the double dove, which is what you, how you want the person's hands to be and the dove like that, so their thumbs are together, which then automatically brings the cuff up right here, cuffs right there. Once again, I press, and he's hooked. And he's walking away. And you, can, you always want to have control of your subject. Even once you cuff him, you still never let him go.